how can you convince people now that gun control, considering how many times it's tried and failed, that is it anything more than a fantasy? Well, it isn't. And in part because most people in America, 92%, the last I checked, um, and 85% of gun owners support these common sense measures. You know, universal background checks, closing the gun show loophole, closing the online and Charleston loopholes, and doing whatever we can to repeal the immunity from all liability that gun makers and sellers have. And this latest example, uh, I think, has really mobilized people. We can't get a vote in the Congress to prohibit people who are on the no-fly list from being able to buy a gun in America. Now, if you're too dangerous to fly in America, you ought to be too dangerous to buy a gun in America. Mm. And so I think more people are getting frustrated by, you know, the, the refusal of representatives to stand with the majority of Americans, the majority of gun owners, and take on the gun lobby. I'm not saying any of this is easy because they are incredibly powerful. They intimidate people. Uh, they really try to make anybody who bucks them pay a political price. Good. That might be the most reprehensible thing Hillary Clinton has ever said. And I hope that she keeps saying it, because if she does, she is not going to win the election, or at least I have a very good feeling that she won't, because the no-fly list is one of the worst things the government has ever done to its citizens. It is an authoritarian nightmare. If Orwell were alive today and he heard Hillary Clinton say that, he would probably actually take up arms against Hillary Clinton. It is just unbelievably, unbelievably authoritarian for her to say this. The no-fly list, if you don't know, is a list where, without any oversight, from either the courts or the legislature, the executive branch can put any American citizen on it for any reason it pleases. And when I say executive branch, you're probably thinking the president. Well, no, it's not him who decides this. It's not his chief of staff. It's not the attorney general. It's, it's well, it might be one of those, but it's probably a low-level bureaucrat. We don't know who decides who goes on the list. We don't know what the process is. And you don't know that you've been put on this list. You don't know how to get, why you got put on the list in the first place, and you don't know how to get off it. There is no process for you to be removed from this list. A U.S. congressman from California, Tom McClintock, ended up on this list. We happen to know that in the case of this congressman, it was because he shared the same name as a suspected IRA terrorist. But if, some, if a congressman can be mistakenly put on this list, and he can't be taken off it, he can't get himself off this list despite being in Congress, what chance does an average citizen have? And if that's just the result of incompetence and a, mis a mistake, probably an honest mistake, imagine what power there is for abuse in this program. <clears throat> I think it's really telling that this congressman was unable to have himself removed from this list. I mean, think about that for a moment. A congressman couldn't, you know, he couldn't manipulate the levers of government, and he was in the government. So despite being a congressman, a member of government, a member of one of the three branches, and nominally the most powerful branch in the federal government. He is unable to remove himself from this list. Hillary Clinton is actually suggesting that the U.S. federal government should have the power to arbitrarily remove someone's constitutionally protected rights simply because it feels like it. With no evidence, no due process, it can arbitrarily put someone on one of these lists and deprive them of their right to bear arms, which is explicitly protected in the Constitution. What's next? Are you going to say that we shouldn't have the right to a fair trial because we're on the terror watch list or the no-fly list? I mean, this is god-awful. This is fascism is what it is when the government can just secretly decide who doesn't get their rights for no reason, no evidence, no oversight, no appeals process. That is the worst, most loathsome idea I've ever heard. And I hope Hillary Clinton keeps saying it, because that shows her true colors. She is an authoritarian of the worst sort. He wants to be a paperback writer. Paperback writer.